Hi, this is Lorena and I wanted to share something with you that we were talking about on Lorena's Quilting Facebook group. One of the ladies was asking me if there's anything we can use aside from using a super slider when you're learning how to practice your quilting. The super sliders are pretty expensive. That I think they're $39.99. I'm not exactly sure. And the bigger super slider is a little bit more pricier. So we sat down and everybody started giving some input. A friend of mine posted, well, why don't you wax the top of your sewing machine and make it slicker so when you're quilting on your domestic sewing machine, you don't have any of that friction. That was a great idea. I would have never thought of waxing the top of your sewing machine but then it comes into you know getting the wax and those crevices and stuff i also came up with the idea of using sticky vinyl vinyl is very slick and, and it's very slippery and the kind of vinyl i have is the kind you would make for car decals but i'm sure cricut and other companies have vinyl the only thing i thought that could be a problem with that is that vinyl is very sticky and it may be able may pull off the paint off your sewing machine so i thought well maybe that's not a great idea either so i sat back and i started thinking a little bit more and I thought about there's this product that is called it's a clear vinyl that you can make stencils with I use it to do stencils for my quilting it's sticky it sticks on fabric and also sticks on the wall and you could put up you could paint on the wall with it and then pull it off and you have this really cool design so I was thinking about that so what I did is I got I found it I went in my stash of stuff and I found this clear vinyl it's called magic cover self adhesive vinyl decorative covering that's what this is I bought this at Hobby Lobby I bought a big roll it cost me ten dollars and I think I even used the coupon so probably five I did look on Walmart and at Walmart they have this but they have it in different they had it with red lettering and they also had another one with a different lettering I don't know if it'll be any different but I know this works um, I went ahead and tried it so I did a tutorial on it and that's what this video is about can this replace this and I'll let you know at the end of this video my thoughts and uh, yeah so keep watching okay I'll see you in a minute bye Okay, so here I have the super slider, and I do have my vinyl underneath, but I have my super slider right here. I don't know if you see it right there. And I'm going to go ahead and test drive if this really works. So I don't have my gloves on, but it's okay. I should have my gloves on, girl. Okay, here you can see that as I'm quilting, underneath you can see that my super slider starts moving with my fabric and I sewed my fabric to my super slider. Yeah. <laughs> That's why. Okay, I just ruined my super slider and I ruined it because this stupid sticky stuff isn't working anymore. Um, I don't know if you wipe it down or what, but you see that I got it caught underneath, but... Oh. Such is life, right? That's why I did the initial tear because it moved on me. I have this clear vinyl. I already pulled it off and I have the, I have it on the table and I already stuck it down just like that. The only thing is that I think may be an issue is because you know how you see these little lumps. You can layer it, but I don't think it'll be a problem. It's completely stuck down. I made it as big as I wanted. Mine is pretty big. One thing you need to think about is whenever you have to change the bobbin, you are going to have to pull the vinyl back, which I kind of like the fact that this vinyl is really resilient and it can handle the stress of me pulling it completely up so that I could get to the bobbin area and then it pulls down. You can see that you see some wrinkling on the vinyl. I don't know if you see some wrinkling like right there. Maybe you could see it. I don't know. You can see there is some wrinkling on the vinyl, but it's not... Um, it's okay it, it doesn't it doesn't seem like it's a big factor on it so here okay, 
fold this down. You saw that it just lays down really nicely. quilt's the same. You can see that I have tension problems, but quilt's the same. So this is the thought. Am I going to buy myself another super slider? Um, and the truth is, is no. I'm not going to spend $39.99 on another super slider when I found that this works just as well. To be honest, the motion of the moving of the fabric move pretty much the same. The super slider does help, especially when you don't have anything on your machine but I found that this works just as well. The only thing I have to say is maybe you could layer it because the super slider is a little bit thicker than this sheet of vinyl. You can layer it and make it a little bit thicker and then cut the hole out. Uh, I only use one piece to test it out, but I know if I used a couple pieces, it will thicken the area out and where I have the metal components on my sewing machine, they will literally disappear and it'll be a smooth surface. But I only used one and it worked just as well. It didn't seem to make such, it didn't make a big difference between this and this. Um, now let me just say this. This is my opinion. This is me just trying something out momentarily. What I like about it is I could use a big old sheet, make it as big and as wide as my table as I wanted it to, and it's cheap. It's not going to break the bank if I make a big one and later on I just peel the big piece off. Things to think about when I tried this out. When you're peeling this, the, pla the vinyl off of this, there's a tendency where you end up having some ripples and folds. It will be a great help if you have somebody holding the paper while you're peeling it off so you get a nice clean sheet. But even if it does fold on you, it really didn't affect me quilting. It didn't affect how I was moving on the machine. I didn't feel the folds because you can literally rub the folds down. Also, just think about you will have air pockets when you lay this down. So it is a little bit more labor intensive, which really, it doesn't take that much to lay the vinyl down and get rid of the bubbles. On the super slider, you don't even have to think about that because you just laid it down and it worked. But on this, you just have to work a little bit more. But for the price of it, it's worth it. So, I don't know. If you'd like to make a comment, try it out and tell me how you feel about it. Maybe you have a super slider and yours is starting to lose its tackiness. Maybe I need to wash my bottom of my super slider for it to get tacky again. I don't know. I just found that it's not tacky anymore. And when I'm quilting, it moves on me. And then I'm sewing the super slider to my fabric. Um, but this is just an idea. This is just something that may save you money. And even if you try it and it doesn't work for you, it's only $2. Because I saw this at Walmart for $2.99. So um, it's not a, good, a huge expense. And anyway, if you want to make templates or something like that for your quilting so you could pounce on top of it, this is also used for that. You can also uh, cut it on your Cricut, a design, and stick it on your wall and paint. And you have a wall stencil that costs you less than two bucks. Yeah, it's cost you less than a couple cents because the whole roll is less than five, ten dollars. So yeah, I just wanted to share this tip with you. I also wanted to thank the wonderful lady on Lorena's Quilting Facebook group who asked. It got my juices going and it got all of us to start thinking of ways to create something on the cheap and to try something new. I would have never tried this if it wasn't for her asking me, is there anything else that we can use aside from this? So I wanted to thank you for watching. 
I just appreciate you. Come and join us at Lorena's Quilting Facebook group if you want. You can ask questions and you'll get my juices going and I'll try to figure out answers for you. And I really do thank you for your time. Yes, and your support. Have a wonderful day. Okay, guys. Bye.